I'm going to do some work on my uh, TX200. It's the uh, Punta Carbine uh, variety, the Mark III. And uh, as you can see, just to get things started, I've already moved the silencer that was on it and the scope. So I'll just put them to one side and we can move on. Right, removing the stock. Uh, we've got some Allen keys. At the fore end, that we need to remove. And let's put that there now. And it's over. Get the other side. Now, when I originally bought this gun, <coughs> I assumed it was uh, standard. Um, but I destructed it a little while ago, I found that it isn't. It's actually got a stroke, short stroke kit on it. So, as part of the project, I'm actually going to be removing the short stroke kit and installing one of Welsh Willie's spring kits to see how it feels with that too. Okay. Okay. And last of all, last one with the trigger, the hard unscrews. And there we go. <coughs> so that's everything I'm done, and the stop just lifts away to expose the action. Okay, so let's just take this one so we can see. <coughs> There's the trick then. We've got the anti bear trap on the side there. Now, with these, uh, the, the whole of the trigger block assembly is held in just by this one uh, big old bolt at the back. Now this one, I, I know because I've stripped it before, it's, it's got a huge amount of preload on it. So just to make sure that uh, we've got that under control, let's first of all find a spanner that's of an appropriate size. And that'll do it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to loads of pressure on it, just crack it off, keep pressure on it, bearing in mind I'm, I'm quite a big guy, I'm sort of 20 stone, so I'm leaning on this, like so, and there you can see, that that's the uh, preload and control when you disassemble the gun, ok let's just get a little bit of paper towel in before we uh, everything up. Okay, so all that oil of it we can now put in here. So there's the actual trigger block assembly. There's the uh, spring guide and I'll just get out the spring itself. And there's the other parts. So, to get the other parts, we've got to remove the cocking lever. Now, on these, uh, whereas on the wire out, you have to hammer out one of the one of the pins. Um, these, I've just got a tiny circle just there. And it's uh, it's not too bad to get at, actually, to be honest. Um, just a question of. Uh, let me just get something to get all of it. Okay, so I'm just a question of persuading it off, really. There's my circle, I can put that in with the rest. And of course, this just pops through like so. Okay. 
and then you've got your uh, your cocking arm that uh, will move like that. Now, as you can see, as you push this back, the cocking shoe moves backwards. There. Keep going, keep going. You can hear the bear trap mechanism clicking through. And then when it gets right to the back, you can actually lift it out like that and the cocking shoe hopefully will stay on the end. Okay, so now we can just, let me just pull this out a little bit more so you can see it. Pull out the actual compression cylinder and piston. Okay, so there we go. There's the piston. Pull that out. And there's uh, sorry, the compression uh, cylinder. And there's the piston. And as you can see on the end of there is the uh, short stroke kit that's been stuck on the end. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean all this up. I'll take off the short stroke kit and we'll reassemble it with the Welsh Willy stuck inside. <coughs> Just to show progress so far, um, I've taken off the uh, short stroke kit. Um, I don't know if it's just this gun, but this feels very harshly turned. So uh, what I've done is I've spun it um, with some fine emery cloth just to smooth it down. It was, you know, it still is uh, harsher than I'd like, and I'll probably take it apart again and do it a bit more. Um, so we've got the normal length piston. And um, what I assume is the normal um, compression chamber, unless somebody's been drilling the transfer ports out. Um, <coughs> this is the Welsh Willy spring kit with his, um, his Delrine spring guide and top hat and what have you. And, and as ever, you get your uh, Molly grease and your Molly lube um, for the actual seal itself. Um, so I'll be putting this together, I'll just grease it up first and then I'll put it back together and we'll see what it feels like. Um, I'm going to leave out the um, the spacer weight thing that Air Arms insist on putting in. Um, it goes like a, a, a sort of like weighty top hat kind of assembly. Um, and we'll see how it goes with that. <coughs> okay. Okay. Uh, the spring's all greased with uh, Molly. I'm just going to put just a couple of drops, literally, of uh, lube on the seal, like so. And we'll put a little bit on the Dolorean piston ring at the back. We'll go from there. Okay. Right, reassemble. <coughs> Oops, trying not to knock everything over. Push everything together. And uh, spring all lubed up, as I've already said. There it goes. Okay. <coughs> now, feed that into the gun. So should go pretty easy. And then we get to the cocking shoe part. Okay. So the cocking shoe fits in there like so. Okay, there we go. Cocking shoe in. Release the bear trap, slide it up into position. Ten of the parts, and in here I've got my um, pin and circlet, so we can just put it in that way and do this a little bit, show through the cocky and leave a pin, and then. Just push on the circle. Now it's nice and easy. There we go. 
push that on and everything's back in position okay. now now we've got the Welsh uh, the Welsh rally spring in the preload should be considerably different and there we are look at that next to nothing I'll just uh, put a little bit of weight on it down there get it in position Oops. Okay, go and reassemble. Just pinch that the spanner. And there we go. Done back together. Okay, <coughs> let's put on the stock. Give it a test fire. See what kind of poundage we are uh, in the country of. Threads, so you can see, and the back again. Just grab a couple of threads. Okay, and the screws for the four end. One in, grab a couple of threads, stick the last one in, grab a couple of threads, and this one I can just pinch tight. Then go around and tighten everything else up. together fully equipped with the Welsh Rally kit. Time for a test fire. Okay just uh, just test fired it. I've actually taken it apart again and put in a couple of spacer washers uh, which I presume is to compensate for that thick old top hat that was uh, in the um, compression tube. It's doing just about ten and a half which is actually pretty much ideal. Maybe another two or point two or point three of a pound. And there, uh, that's a bad reading. I'll just do one more. There you go. 10.43 foot pounds this time. So it's it's nice and consistent. Considering I've just put the gun back together, I've been uh, stripped it. It's going to take a few, well, a couple of hundred pellets. I would have thought just to calm it down and get it nice and stable. And then uh, we'll get a good idea. But ten and a half foot pound is is uh, is nice and smooth and nice and steady, kind of what I want. So plenty to work from from there. The cocking stroke, I've got to say, is so much smoother. Really, really a lot nicer. <laughs> 